No. Yeah, no, no joke. Oh, <gasps> no, just, oh. What is going on, everybody? My name is Mike. Welcome back to the channel. I'm very glad that you're back with me today because we are talking about why people upgrade. Now, my wife has got a 13 inch MacBook Pro. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about why she's upgrading from that old 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro to the brand new M2 Mac Mini. We're gonna find out what's wrong with the 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2015, what jobs it doesn't handle, what job she needs the M2 Mac Mini to handle, and what specs she got. Let's get started. So what frustrates you the most about your current MacBook Pro 13 inch laptop? The reason I'm upgrading is because I am responsible for my computing now. I'm a consultant and so my laptop, as Mike said, is almost eight years old. It's probably like eight years old. And mm -hmm. um, I have to lead a lot of meetings, so that means what am I doing? I have multiple screens doing shares. And every time I get on a call lately, I have to say, hey, sorry, uh, my computer's old, yeah. forgive me. Because what happens, it's like I try to screen share, my screen will go black or something just because my computer can't handle it. It sounds like it's gonna blast off because yeah. the fans are like going so hard. Yep. And um, you know, that that's embarrassing because I'm a consultant. I wanna like be on top of things and not and not have to say I have a crappy old computer. Yeah. So makes sense. So your old computer, it's just kind of showing its age, so to speak. Knowing that you've used a laptop for the past, you know, five years for work, do you have any concerns with going to a desktop or like what are your concerns if any? Uh, my concerns with going to a desktop is that I do travel for work sometimes, so I'm concerned about like when I'm on site doing things that I'm not going to have kind of the same level of performance, obviously. Yeah. Or you know, I don't know what I'm going to use when I'm on site yet. Like yeah. how what is necessary to do what I need to do. But it's a new role, so I'm not sure like until yep. I really get on the ground. The truth of the matter is that you might need to buy something else, right, for yeah. when you travel which is infrequently, right? Like you're not, you're traveling every week like a typical, like yeah. a Deloitte or a, you know, yeah, like, a, yeah, yeah. like a typical consultant, but you also travel infrequently. And like our conversation was, maybe we'll get like a, a MacBook Air, something small and light. It doesn't yeah. necessarily have the, the performance. Oh my God, that was never recording. No. Yeah, no, no joke. <gasps> no, just, oh. Yeah, no joke. Wow. Uh, oh. So you've just unboxed this and you know we will put we'll, the unboxing audio in here but any thoughts about what you upgraded to this is the m2 second level configuration eight core cpu 10 core gpu 24 gigs of ram if i'm remembering it correctly and one terabyte hard drive this is the recommendation that i gave you this is 13.99 um i mean it's probably going to change your your experience very you know drastically because your computer's just that old are you happy like yeah like is no, that I'm, I'm excited, You're excited. I, and, and like it's amazing and just how i mean maybe it's just i'm not buying cpus all the time so it, you don't unbox a lot of things well not just that no, i'm just thinking about like you know when you're when we're much younger and how these things are these giant boxes. Yes. I asked you how long has it been since you played with a, or not played with, but but used a desktop. And you're like maybe 08, 09 when yeah. you were playing World of Warcraft. Yes. So it's been like that long. And that yeah. was probably a big honking tower that oh, you yeah. set on your desk. Definitely. So I guess let's uh, let's take this and let's hook it up to your system and we can maybe get some quality of life measurements on how, <laughs> okay. how things have changed for you, okay? All right. Let's do that. So let's just recap where we are. We've unboxed the your new computer. We've set it up. We spent about an hour or so setting it up. You've had the opportunity to use it. You've worked with it actually all day now. And want to get your thoughts on what do you think of it after using it? And we'll do like a comparison. I have your MacBook Pro here. What are the noticeable differences to you? Someone who doesn't necessarily, you're not technical. So let's put it put in that context. I am motivated to just open everything. Open all the windows. Open all the windows, all the apps, yeah. and like minimize everything at the bottom, and then just do things. 
Okay. I, I totally get it. Because if I couldn't do that before, I would like worry about like, oh gosh, let me like close the application and because just in case I have to do something else and yeah. it's just to slow it down. So yeah. this is just funny that it's so fast. I just could do all that and now I just do it for fun, I think. <laughs> yeah. So you're, so you're overly aggressive with opening up the windows. Maybe it's put it that way. <laughs> Pretty much. So your computer is here. This is the 20, mid-2015. This is an Intel 2.7 gigahertz dual core i5, eight gigs of RAM. So this is three times as much RAM as you have today because you have 24 gigs. And Intel graphics 6100, which is like a very low level integrated graphics card. Okay, so we just finished Geekbench on your old computer and on your new computer. And like this is a synthetic benchmark, so it's not necessarily a, a, an acceptance or um, it doesn't really measure the real world experiences, but so you see the number. Here, the single core score, 787, and then the multi-core score is 1,716. Here, it's 1943, so it's almost three times as much, 2.7 or 2.8. And then here, this is four times as much multi-core performance. So this should be much more performant for you compared to this machine here. This thing is like a, um, I mean, it did you obviously well, but it's uh, MacBook Pro, what's it say there? It is early 2015. Early 2015, yeah. yeah. So it's really old. So this is 53, 54, and then we have 30,000, 560. It's just a little bit less than six times as much performant. Wow, crazy. So it's much more powerful than what you have on, or much less powerful than what you have on your new Mac Mini. Other than uh, the ability to open up all the windows that you want to in the entire yeah. world, there's some other things that I kind of showed you that you didn't have before, like having Touch ID on your Magic Keyboard, even though you used the Magic Keyboard before, but now you can actually use your finger to unlock your computer and... Yeah, that's very nice because I have a very secure password for 1Password, so typing all those letters and letters and symbols, I don't do that now, so that's nice. Yeah, it, even, <laughs> even to like authenticate for your, like when we were installing things yeah. or to yeah, just like, buy stuff yeah. from... And that's not a new feature, but that came around after 2015 when you got yeah. your computer. Yeah. So that's a pretty big like net win for, for you. Uh, we tried continuity camera, and that was where we used your iPhone. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't like that. You felt... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you felt in, um, not insecure, but you, you felt that the phone wasn't secure. We used the, the Belkin mount. I think it's Belkin. And we put it on top of your monitor, and it was just like very kind of... Well, I'm a klutz, so like... For me to take the case off my phone because it's not secure with the case on it. You don't have a I don't Mac have a MagSafe case. Or is, even right? though you bought it from Apple. Right? I bought it from Apple. Yeah, it's not a good MagSafe mm -hmm. case, which is kind of weird. But. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe I should show, don't get this one kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I have to take off the case and then put it up there. And knowing me, I would just drop it on the ground or something. And that's just, no, no. Yeah. Okay. So you didn't like that. Uh, I guess, is there anything else that you could maybe comment about or remark about that was different in terms of your experience when you think about your 2015 MacBook Pro and your 2022 or 23, sorry, uh, Mac Mini? It's been a very long time since I've transitioned from like one device to another, clearly. So, yeah. sorry, I just have this thing. From my non-technical perspective, it felt so good to be able to just move so easily between devices yeah. that I can, mm. you worry about going to a new device, especially if you're working or doing different things, school, yeah. whatever. And you're like, oh gosh, you know, now I'm going to have to have to install all this stuff or be aware of it. I mean, like you said, it took like an hour. Um, and it was really like, if you were more prepared, you could probably do it faster because yeah. Yeah. it was just kind of occurring to me like, oh yeah, I should probably do that. <laughs> so one so. of the things that we didn't have the chance to do is to do a, um, Oh, man, what do they call it on the Mac? I can't, it's, the name is escaping me. Anyways, it's where you transfer the data from your old machine to your new machine. It's because we didn't have a Thunderbolt 2 cable, which we actually have to ask your dad when we see him. But that would get all your data off of this and then yeah. put it on your computer. But that's still a, a relatively straightforward process for transferring yeah. your data. And I, I have most of my stuff in iCloud. I try to. So. Yeah. Okay. It's so sad. You're looking over here. Oh, sorry. This is the confidence I monitor. forget. <laughs> I forget. So it's sad. It's going to be retired. But not yet. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Yeah, you're, you're gonna I'm going to wipe it and make it faster, I guess, yeah. like because it's going to be done using like two applications ever, yeah. basically. All right, guys. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>